high call series. So children, we have already completed the lesson part of uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo and it is time for us now to deal with the activities and the exercise of this particular lesson, right? Okay. Now, so the exercise part of this lesson actually starts with the true or false question. So here there are six sentences given here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we need to re read these uh, sentences given over there and match with what we have learned in the lesson. If what we have learned in the lesson and what is there in the sentences are the same, okay? If, uh, yes, what we have learned in the lesson and what we have got here on the sentences are the same, then, uh, yes, we need to mention that sentence as a true one and if not, as a false one, okay? So a sentence is called a true sentence if it is a uh, yeah, exactly matching with what we have learned in the lesson. And uh, if it is opposite to the what you something, if it is opposite to what we have learned in the lesson, then we call it a false statement, right? So the first one, BRC was earlier known as a Belgian Congo. So in the lesson we have learned it that uh, BRC was a Belgian. Yes, it was a Belgian colony and it got a freedom from Belgium in the year 1960. So until then, it was known as the Belgian Congo, isn't it? Congo, actually, uh, BRC, which was actually a, yes, a colony of Belgium, uh, which got a freedom in the year 1960. And until that year, it was called a Belgian Congo, right? Yes, so that is a true statement. Second one, Patadi is a major lake of DRC. Patadi, we read about Patadi in two places. One is, Patadi is a place where the Congo River come and join Atlantic Ocean. Is it? Second, in the cities, when we said about the cities, we said that Patadi is a port city. Is it? Yes. So, Matadi is not the major lake, Matadi is a port city, right? So, that is a false statement. BRC experienced heavy rainfall with the thunder and lightning. Yeah. The morning part, it is uh, you know, very hot and in the afternoon, it showers a lot with the thunders and lightning. So, that is a true statement. The capital of DRC is a uh, Inchaza. Kinshasa is the capital of a DRC. Yeah. In among the three cities we read about a Kinshasa also, and there we said a Kinshasa is the capital city of a DRC. DRC has a smooth roadway system. Roadways. How many bridges should they construct if they have to construct their roadways like that? Huh? So roads are there only in those areas where there is a land, isn't it? And some inhabitation. So in the cities, three cities which we have studied, yes, there, they may have a road system, but not throughout the Congo. A smooth waterways system is what is there in DRC, isn't it? Yeah. So that is a false statement. DRC is sometimes called the heart of darkness. Yes. See, Africa is a continent which is known as a dark continent and that lies on the central western side. It's a place where our heart is located, isn't it? It's a place where our heart is located and that is why DRC is often called as a, the heart of a darkness. That is a true statement. Right? So, now we will check it with the answers. Yes. BRC was earlier known as a Belgian Congo. It's a true statement because it was a colony of Belgium. Matadi is a major lake of BRC. It's a false statement because Matadi is a port city in a DRC. BRC experiences a heavy rain with the thunder and lightning. It's a true statement because afternoons it rains heavily over there. The capital of DRC is a Kinshasa, it's a true statement. It is one of the three major cities also there in DRC. 
BRC has a smooth roadway system is a false statement because with a lot of rivers, canals, uh, tributaries and all and with a very sparse population, it's quite difficult. And what they have is a well-established water system, waterway system. BRC is sometimes called as a heart of darkness is again a true statement. Right? So now I will keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that you can read these sentences once again, right? Yeah, now the next one, fill in the blanks. So we have a seven uh, sentences given here with a blank each, right? We have a seven sentences with a blank each there. What we need to do is we need to read these sentences and check with what we have learned in the lesson and uh, fill the blanks, right? We need to read these sentences, check with what we have learned in the lesson and uh, fill these uh, blanks. So first one, DRC is the dash largest country in Africa. It is the second largest country in Africa. Zambia is located towards the south. Zambia is located towards the south of DRC. Right? Third one, the river Zaya flows into the Danish Ocean. So what is this river called, the river Zaya? Yes, we have seen the river Congo is also known as the river Zaya. And it covers almost the entire DRC and it flows into which ocean? At Matadi? Yes, it flows into Atlantic Ocean. It flows into Atlantic Ocean. Right. Dash is a staple food of DRC. What is the name of the staple food eaten by the people of DRC? Cassava. What is it called? Cassava is a staple food of DRC. The Republic of Congo is a dash populated country. Not very populated country. It's a sparsely populated country or a not very populated country. The Pygmies are the dash people of DRC. Pygmies are the, yeah, the nomadic people or the nomadic tribe. We can call it a the nomadic tribe or the tribal people. See, all the people in the DRC actually belong to tribal people. Other than the people, the white people, the Europeans who go over there for the uh, church activities or the, uh, the um, education trade or something like that. Other than that, the original people of DRC are all tribal people. So, Pygmies are also tribal people. DRC has a dash and a dash climate. It's very hot and a wet climate, right? So now we will uh, check it with the answers once. DRC is the second largest country in Africa. Zambia is located towards the south of DRC. The river Zaya flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Cassava is a staple food of DRC. Republic of Congo is not a very populated country. The Pygmies are the tribal people of DRC. DRC has a hot and a wet uh, climate. Right? So now I will keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that you can read this question and answers once again. Okay?
Follow one. Match the following. So we have a group A and a group B. And what we need to do now is, uh, yes, match them, right? So the first one is a Belgian Congo and Zaire. Belgian Congo and Zaire are the older names of DRC, isn't it? Until 1960, they were known as a Belgian Congo and until 1996, they were known as a Zaire. So one is E, older names of a DRC. Second, Pygmies. Pygmies, 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 man, food, primitive tribe. Pygmies are the primitive tribe of a DRC. Kinshasa. Kinshasa is one of the major cities over there. It is a capital also, it is a capital city. Kinshasa is a capital city. Yeah. Bantu. Bantu, Bantu is a language of the people of DRC. The main language spoken by the people of DRC is a Bantu. So four is A. Mount Stanley is the highest peak over there. Mount Stanley is the highest peak in a DRC. Cassava is a main food. We have just seen that. Cassava. Then Zeze. We have discussed about this fly in detail. Zeze is a fly with fly. There is no fly there. What we have is a sleeping sickness. Isn't it? Yes, Zeze is a fly that spreads a sleeping sickness. That is it is health issue. Right? So that's it. Belgian, Congo, Zaire are the older names. Pygmies are the primitive type. Kinshasa is the capital city. Bandu is a language spoken by the people of PRC. Mount Stanley is the highest peak. Kazawa is a main food. Says a sleeping sickness. Right? So shall we check the answers once? Yes. Belgian, Congo and Zaire are A, the older names. Pick me is a D, D, the primitive time. Kinshasa, the capital city, F. Bantu, A, language of use by the people of DRC. Mount Stanley, G, the highest, the highest peak. Kasava, C, the main food. Zeze, B, sleeping sickness. Right? So now I will keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that uh, you can yes, read the questions and the answers once again. Right? Name the following. Any two food crops of DRC, any two farmers waterfalls, any two minerals of DRC, any two trees, any two cities, any two animals. Right? So we need to name any two of these and that uh, yes, we will do it with the answers. So any two crops, food crops of DRC, they grow maize, they grow rice, they grow millets. Okay? So rice, maize and millet are the main crops, you can write any two of them, no problem. Any two famous waterfalls, waterfalls, Inga Falls and Stanley Falls. Inga Falls and Stanley Falls are two major waterfalls of PRC. Any two minerals, uh, cobalt is there, copper is there, diamond is there, gold is there. Huh? Plenty of minerals are there, we can write any two of them. I have written diamond and gold, you can write the other minerals also, doesn't matter. Any two kinds of trees. So about the 
trees we have seen that they are very tall trees, they go, grow up to 50 to 60 meters high with the thick canopy on top of it, and they are also hardwood trees. Okay, so mahogany is a hardwood tree, yabani is a hardwood tree. Okay, so the kinds of trees that are usually found in the Congo basin are hardwood trees like mahogany and yabani. Then two cities. Kanshasa is a city, Matadi is a city, Bikavu is a city. We can write the names of any two cities. Then, any two animals, plenty of animals we have seen. Huh? Gorilla, then uh, Bonobo, Antelope, huh? a Kobe. Right? So, crocodiles are there, penguins, sesame fly. Any two animals we can, lions are there, tigers are there, giraffes are there, isn't it? And baboons are there. Plenty of animals are there. We can write the name of any two animals here. Right? So, any two food crops, maize, rice, millets, etc. Any two famous waterfalls, Inga Falls and Stanley Falls. Any two minerals, diamond and gold. Any two trees, mahogany and ebony. Any two cities of DRC, Matadi and Bikau. Any two animals, gorilla and tiger. Right? So, now I will keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can. Copy them, uh, so you can uh, read them and uh, yeah, answer them differently if you want, or if you want, you can keep the same answers also, right? Now, answer the following questions. First one, where is the Democratic Republic of Congo located? Where is the Democratic Republic of Congo located? Democratic Republic of Congo is located on the central side of South Africa. Okay, the central region of South Africa is where? Yes, the Democratic Republic of Congo is a located. What are the major features of the climate of the DRC? So what are the major features? What can we say about the climatic conditions of the DRC? The climate of DRC is hot and humid. The rays of the sun fall almost straight all the year. In the morning the sun shines bright and by noon becomes very hot. By afternoon the sky is covered with a black cloud clouds which follows with a heavy rainfall accompanied by thunder and lightning. So we have already seen it. Na? It lies on the Kichoda region. It receives a direct sun rays all throughout the year. It's very hot in the morning season. By afternoon, the clouds get ready in the sky. And later, it falls. It rains heavily uh, associated with the thunder and the lightning. Right? So the climate of a DRC is hard and humid. Uh, the rays of the sun fall almost straight all the year. In the morning, the sun shines bright and by noon, it becomes very hot. By afternoon, the sky is covered with the black clouds which follow with the heavy rainfall accompanied by thunder and lightning. Third question, who are pygmies? The pygmies are the primitive tribe who live in the interior forest in the northern part of DRC. They are very short with a height of only 1.5 meters. They are nomads and good hunters. They live in small huts. So when we discuss about the people, when we discuss the people of uh, DRC, we have talked about them also, isn't it? What do we say? Pygmies are the primitive tribes. 
they live in the eastern, uh, the northern part. Yes, the northern part of DRC. Then uh, they are very short. They are half, just half of our size. They are very good hunters. Huh? Then uh, they they are nomads, means they wander. They do always wander. They are good hunters, and they all live in very small huts. Right. So these are the first three questions. I'll keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that you can read these three questions yourself. Now, the fourth question. Which major crops are grown in the DRC? Which major crops are grown in DRC? The main food crops grown in DRC are maize, rice, millet and vegetable. Maize, rice, millet and vegetables are the major crops. Cassava, a kind of root, is a staple food. That is also called to eat. Banana, coconut, coffee, cocoa, tea, rubber, cotton, sugarcane, and the yam are also grown in large scales. So, what are the kinds of fruits that they grow? Banana, coconut, coffee, cocoa, tea, rubber, cotton, sugarcane, and the yam. It's not just the fruits, all kinds of crops are there. Are also grown in large scales. Why is DRZ called the natural zoo of the world? So that is at the point. DRC is called the natural zoo because of the number of kinds and varieties of animals and birds. Birds, plenty of multicolored different varieties of birds are also there in the African forest region. Okay. So the forest of DRC consists of rare and endemic animals, large varieties of birds and insects which are not found anywhere else. So DRC is called the natural zoo of the world. So we know we go to uh, a zoo to find to look at the animals which are not found anywhere else, is it? For example, we see kangaroo because we cannot go to Australia and see a kangaroo, right? So just like that, this this forest region of uh, DRC actually has a large number of animals, huge varieties of uh, birds, and uh, unbelievable kinds of insects. Right? Some are endemic means of uh, what we call it a uh, disaster hit. Okay, extinct. Facing extinction. All varieties are there. And that is why, as we can find a large varieties and a number of animals over there, it is called the natural zoo of uh, the world. Who are Bantu? Bantu are the Negroes living in the villages. The language of these people is also known as Bantu. The people who live in the villages are called the Bantu. It's a the language also. The language also is named as a Bantu. Right? So which crops are grown in a DRC? The main crops grown in DRC are maize, rice, millet, and vegetable. Cassava, a kind of root, is a staple food. Banana, coconut, coffee, cocoa, tea, rubber, cotton, sugarcane, and yam are also grown in large scale. Why is DRC called the natural zoo of the world? The forest of DRC consists of rare and endemic animals, large varieties of birds and insects, which are not found anywhere else. So, 
BRC is called the natural zoo of the world. Who are the Bantu? Bantu are the Negroes living in the villages. The language of these people are also known as a Bantu. Right? Okay. So now I'll keep the screen the same for another minute for you so that uh, you can have a read at these questions and their answers once again. Right? The next set of questions. Yeah. Why is DRC called the heart of darkness? The trees of the forest of DRC are very tall and form a canopy, preventing sunlight from reaching the ground. Some trees grow up to 60 meters tall. The forests are so dense that it is not possible for human beings to pass through them. Therefore, DRC is sometimes called the heart of darkness. So, the trees in this forest region are very tall, they form thick canopy through which even the sunlight cannot reach the ground and uh, these are very dense forests, so dense that people cannot even pass through that, they cannot even go through that, okay, that is why it is known as the heart of darkness. What is the importance of the river Zaya? So, the river Zaya is a main transportation source in Central Africa. The river, along with the, all the streams that lead into, the, into it, provide over 9,000 miles of navigable shipping routes in Central Africa. So, river Zaya, we have already seen it is vast and deep. Huh? And uh, uh, it actually makes one of the most important transportation as far as the Central Africa is concerned, right? And what is the length of this region? See, uh, the main, main river of Congo or Zaya along with the tributaries which come and join this river together make 9,000 miles. 9,000 miles means 14,500 kilometers. 14,500 kilometers of a navigable uh, river area. Navigable means which can be used for big ships also. Okay. That is the importance of river Zion. Which minerals are produced in the DRC? Diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, and manganese are the minerals produced in DRC. Right? So, why is the DRC called the heart of darkness? The trees of the forest of a DRC are very tall and form a canopy, preventing sunlight from reaching the ground. Some trees grow up to 60 meters tall. The forests are also so dense that it is not possible for the human beings to pass through them. Therefore, DRC is sometimes called as the heart of darkness. What is the importance of the river Zaya? The river Zaya is a main transportation source in Central Africa. The river along with all the streams that lead into, the, into it provide 9,000 miles or 14,500 kilometers of navigable shipping routes in Central Africa. Means the countries which are on the Boundaries of this country, Republic of Congo, also use these rivers for transportation. Which minerals are produced in DRC? Diamond, gold, copper, cobalt, and manganese are the minerals produced in DRC. Right? So I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that you can uh, yes, read it once again.
project or activity. Collect the pictures of the flora and the fauna of the DRC region and paste them in your scrapbook. So in the textbook actually are images already given there for you. You can also find more images from Google or different books that we can have, right? So flora and the fauna. Flora means the plants, fauna means the animals that are found in the Congo Basin region. Okay, you can do that. You can collect the pictures and you can paste them carefully in the scrapbook or the project book, right? Fine. Map. On an outline map of Africa, mark the following. DRC, the countries that are border DRC, River Zaya, Matari, Atlantic Ocean, and the Kinshasa. Okay, so here we have a map of Africa, and on this map of Africa, we need to mark where DRC is, the countries that are border DRC, Zana, River Zaya, Matari, Atlantic Ocean, and the Kinshasa. So, where is DRC? This is DRC, isn't it? This is the country of DRC. On the border, we have uh, Congo is here. Uh, okay. River Zaya actually flows in this direction. It comes here through all these ways. Matari is a port city, so that is here. Atlantic Ocean, this is Atlantic Ocean. And uh, Kinshasa is actually very close to here. Okay. Kinshasa and the Matadi are on that simple projection of this uh, country towards the Atlantic Ocean, right? So we'll check the answers. Yes. So we have Congo here. Yes, the Central African Republic, Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia, Angola. Atlantic Ocean also here. This is DRC, we have the river here. Okay, Matari is here, not here, here. Matari is here, Kinshasa is also there. Right? Okay. So I'll keep the screen the same for another minute so that we can have a look at the map and uh, do it yourself also. Right? Okay, so that is the project activity, the last question as far as the exercise part of the DR, the lesson on DRC is concerned. So in the next class, we will meet again with another lesson. So children, stay home, stay safe. Right? Thank you.